Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Um I'm back Shadow and we are here at the um Well here at Maze Island folks. Um we've already been here once a little bit in order to uh get hold of um what you would call it, uh get hold of the um, the lost child, or the kidnapped child I should say. Um, and now we're back here to actually, you know, take on the actual palace that's here. Um, now, obviously, being a you know, maze island, this obviously is, is a bit of a maze, and like I said, um, I have put a video up, um, in order to, um, you know, to show you, um, how you guys, um, so you've got, um, you know, you, uh, uh, you know a map of the place, really. Um, in all honesty, I, 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 I think, you, oh, no you don't. Oh god, not a techite here. Not in the middle of this fight. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's sadistic. There we go. As I said, there are several ways of making it to the, um... Making it to, um... Uh, to, to um, the maze palace. But, you know, as I said, there is a shorter route. Now, either, whatever you do, you've got to come past this bridge and get here. Now, normally, I would say, yeah, now you want to carry on, but you want to take a little side trip down the left here. Because you come down here, you fall down here, magic container number three, and I really should have used a life spell for picking that up, but oh well. Missed the trick there. So now we're up to seven bars, which is, you know, 100 and 112 points, which is pretty good. Now, that's two life spells now we can cast. You know, if we don't do anything else, that's two life cells cost, which is pretty good. Right. So we want to head up here. Right. Two basilisks here. Shouldn't make much of a difference from fighting one. It's just... Well, no, it shouldn't make any difference, really. It's just double the points, in my opinion. Oh, God. Oh, my... God. I tell you what to hell with him. I, c I can't be asked to fight it, it's just not worth it. Right, so now we get here, um, from here we want to head north first. We want to head north, yeah, we do want to head north first. I'm going to use some health here, actually. Mm. going to have to take out this techite. Oh, come on, I mean... Ugh. How can it be that hard to hit a Tekka? I mean... Really? It's just ridiculous. Ooh! Just in case there's another enemy coming up. Like that! Shield. cut down the damage that we were inevitably going to take from that damn thing. I, I I suppose I could... It's not even a case of practicing against them, just really bad. Right, now we want to head down here. A uh, new enemy here that we haven't actually fought yet, that you can face it before this point. Um, this guy's called a boon. Um, basically, it's just a, a, um, it's a, a bug which just flies around randomly, just drops loads of... Um, Loads of rocks, basically. Um, which, you know, it's very hard to actually guard against. Um, but they're not too bad, just gotta be careful. And if they do come under you, you can have a crack at having a, a stab at them, folks. It's a bit dangerous to upward stabbing, but downward stab, yeah, you can um, have a crack with that if um, it flies near enough to you. But obviously, upward stab's a bit dangerous because it's dropping stuff from below it, so, you know. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that makes things interesting. Uh oh, we're in some we're in some trouble here. Well, we've lost a bit of health. It's not too bad. And then Palace is here. Say hello to the Maze Palace. While I just get up my uh, my map for this place. There we go. There's a little bit of backwards and forwards in this place. Ooh, yoink! I'll have some of that. Of course, we can even use that twice now before we even pick up the uh, red. Come out, come back in. There we go. 
No, game. Stop screwing around with me here. Do not appreciate this. Let's try again. Yeah, I did set my timer. No. You're not you're not Eggman. Or Eggman or Robotnik, I should say. That was his official name. I know I know people like especially you know, like in this country as well know him as Dr. Eggman. His official name was actually Robotnik. Um, officially. Right, so from here, first we want to do is head right because the left is actually blocked by uh, a locked door. So we've got to head right. Alright, so. Ah! Now you might think, oh dear, this is a problem. It's not so bad. Because, of course, if we can just lure him to jump out like that, and then we can get, our, get the points bag once we kill him. We go. There's another one. Come on, jump out, damn you. Like that. Oh, got him there. That was not that was a uh, pretty well timed, I think. Think. Right, so we head down here then. Um, yeah, we do want to head down this way first. Uh, ah, red one here. Again, not so much problem because, of course, he can't jump. Although, I botched up trying to attack him low. That was my bad. And we'll head here. Now, requires a good jump, this. Oh, I. If you want to use the jump spell, then you can, but it's not necessary, as you just saw. A couple of these guys. We got another one of these um damn things. Which in theory should be getting a little easier now that our attack's getting a bit better. Um speaking of attack getting better, hurrah, level six. Um and technically actually I'm gonna say it now, as far as attack levels for the boss concerned, doesn't actually matter in this um it makes no difference in this um this palace, by the way. Is that a little spoiler, folks? Maybe. But only if you can work out what that means. <laughs> right, so we head past here. Careful, there's another mace. There was another mace throw there, but he decided um, that he was um, sick of... You know, sick of life. Grab that. Be careful of this, because... Oh, I thought it was um, going to be a statue. It wasn't. <laughs> Alright, then. Free health, then. Oh god, there he is. Right, how do we deal with this? Hmm. This is a bit tricky. Ow. There we go. That bat that flies back again on itself? I never knew it could do that. It fly, it goes back on itself, and it goes back again in the original direction. I didn't know that, folks. Now, for me, you might think, "Oh, well, no, let's go use the fairy spell so we can get up there." But remember what that person said about jumping in the hole. You don't die, folks. You need to fall down here because you need to come down here. Very important that you do. Because, very special item down here. Yet another essential one. Just go away. And if you come down here... Ooh, we got two of them. That's, mixed. That's a bit different. Although we get some uh, revive, some health out of this. And kill those. And we can use a shield just in case. Ah, I was right in thinking that. We've got a blue eye knuckle to deal with here. Ow. Just trying to get rid of the damn door. No. Not doing too well here. On. There we go, we got him. And here, 
is a shoe. Except it's not just any shoe, it's the... are they magic boots I think they're known as? And remember that guy, f and there's another guy from earlier who said, no, the, no, the uh, Jesus wannabe. Uh, you know, said about walking on water if he had some magic boots. Well now we've got the magic boots, so now we can walk on water. Nice. So now we want to head down again. Although, don't stay on those, because that is lava. You won't be falling through that. We want to head right again. Because down here, there's a good several keys, actually. Ow. Actually, I'm going to quickly demonstrate you to the reflect ability. You see here, blocks the mazes. Which means this guy is basically, we can do whatever we want, almost what we want to, because he basically can't hurt us now. Because, of course, he, he can't throw it lower or anything like that. He can throw it higher than us, but that doesn't matter. You know, and it does that with a lot of things, really. Ooh. Now, this is about sort of screen manipulating here. Now, I believe... No, that one doesn't even do anything. Yeah, get back down there. Jump over these. But, yeah, I mean, that reflects... Well, you know, it can be used... There's certain limits you have to... You're supposed to use it against... But you can use it normally, and it does make some fights a hell of a lot easier, which otherwise wouldn't be. Oh, we got some of these um, dragon ones. Ow. There we go. I want to head across here. Ow! That hurt. Stupid candle. Ah, new enemy here. Some of you may recognise those immediately. For those who don't, those are whiz robes. Now, whiz robes are an interesting little enemy. And I might be able to come back in and demonstrate to you why. Emphasis on the word might. You see, the thing is with whiz robes is that you can't you can't hurt them. None of your attacks can kill them or even damage them. What you want to do is if you get a reflex spell is sort of they cast these sort of magic waves to attack you. If you have the reflex spell, ow! What you will find is that you reflex them and reflex them back, and that is the only way the whiz robes can be killed using their own magic against them. You get a hundred foot as well, which is pretty decent actually. Ah, uh, more of these statues. I don't have a feeling this is going to be a repeat of um, the last... Oh, this is going to be a repeat of the last one was here. Oh, wonderful. No. Just gotta pay, you just got to pay attention to what's going on. Oh, this could be interesting. We get up here. There we go. I knew there was a method to the madness. And just die. Oh, that's cheating. God damn him. We don't even have we don't have a lot of supplies either, actually, that's not so good. That helps. Is that enough for a life? I think it is. Just. Right, so if we make all our way, all the way back up, because you'll find the maze place, it's sort of like in two halves. You've got like a right half and a left half. Left half. Heh. <laughs> we put my teeth back in. Um, and we basically, well, the right half is done now. That's, that's all the rooms there, and we need to get hold of a load of keys. Yeah, see, another one here, but now we can't actually have the reflexor, so we can't actually... We can't actually retaliate, though, because we don't have any magic. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, God. Bloody hell. So I don't think... Actually, I'm just going to test this. I don't think you can even block them normally. Oh, you can block it normally. You just can't reflect it. Oh, there you go. I didn't know you could actually block it normally. That's... There you go. Didn't know that. we got a... I see there's a key up there, but we can't jump that high. We need the jump spell to go up there. We need some magic, folks. And... Oh, my God. We're a bit stuffed here. We don't have we don't have any magic, folks. So we can't actually proceed any further on with this bloody level. Hmm. In the 
statue doesn't give us anything, does it? Don't believe it does. No, it's um, it's actually a baddie. Well, in theory, it could give us some some um, some health, but not 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 well. It gives us that. <sighs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted magic. I want to set focus. I'm gonna go get some magic from somewhere. Right. Well, I went away. Um, found a little bit of magic. Um, right. The problem that we have is that we don't have much health. But admittedly, no, we can get away with dying, um, and we will get everything back. But you know, that can't suck still. Don't want to die if I don't have to. Oh god, I didn't go too well. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna ignore those whiz roads for now because we need the magic for the jump. I could have, you no, know, got the um, flex, but I don't. What I want to do is want to try and. Oh god. You could see that one coming a mile away. Because I know I could. Oh, that was close. Come on. There we go. Just need the one. Oh, this is this is a bit ridiculous. Now we have absolutely no self or anything. Oh dear. Just about anything could kill us right now, especially that. No, I'm not dying to that damn thing. That damn thing that has no health. I'm not dying to that. I'm having another bot job. Now I expect to die here. Well, I've not died yet. Now what we can do here, if we've got a moment, we can make a little stairway. Which hasn't been made that brilliantly, actually, I will admit, but hey. We've got the upstab now, so that really helps. And there is a key further along. But, we want to take out this thing first. No! Ah! Oh! It was always going to come, wasn't it, folks? It was always going to happen. I could only avoid it so long. Damn. Never mind. Never mind. Right, so we'll take... Now we'll take out this guy. Now we can properly. And he'll kill me now. Well, I tell you, he gave it a bloody good try, didn't he? Got a little stairway. That's not how I intended to create it, but oh well. Grab the key. All right, so we've got so we got that, which is what we needed from here, because of course it doesn't go any further. Just go away, please. Pathetic. Right, so now we can adapt our ladder. Um, we want to head right first. More lava, wonderful. Whenever you see lava like that, you just know it, the game's going to be trying to just screw you over and send you into the lava like that. Like, just like that. Oh, it's that easy in this game. It is that easy. I mean, what can you do about it? Well, you can do that, I suppose. Leave that there. Uh, I'll use a shield. Just in case. I don't know what else is, might be in here, but we'll use a shield just in case. We'll grab that. Ah! Bye! Well, that does cause that. Oh god, there's two of them. Ah, that's okay. Got that. Oh, more is ropes. Now we can take these guys out. If he wants to appear again, that is. He will. They generally do somewhere along 
the line. There we go. Ooh, gave us a red. Probably would have preferred him giving me uh, a points bag, but... Oh, well. What can you do? This could be a funny little jump, this. Okay, don't do that. Hold on, what are we supposed to do there? That's a bit of a dodgy jump. Ooh, that's a tight jump, that bloody hell. Oh, look, he's only using the jump spell there, jeez. Right, so we're heading to here. And we're nearing the end of this palace, folks. Get down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. God damn you, son of a... Ugh. Um, there is a points bag there. I'll, sh I'll just show you how much is in it. I'm actually going to grab it. There's a hundred in there. But I don't actually want it because there's no points. We're not going to get a thousand experience in time. You know, before. No. I mean, the um, I mean the boss only gives 200, so I need another 850 before we get to the boss. Which, or it'll be 750. Which is not going to happen, folks. It's just not going to happen. So I'm not going to bother collecting that. No. There we go. Deal with him. And... is that all? Ah, that's a, bit, that's a bit easy for a penultimate room. But then, this is actually, in some ways, this is kind of an easy boss, actually. Um, yeah, this is kind of an easy boss, folks. When you know what you're doing. Say hello to Karak. Um, and he's basically like an advanced wizard robe. Basically. He just keeps firing constantly, and there's a really easy way of doing this, folks. It's a bit cheap. Sit in the corner. Occasionally, he might decide to... Actually, we'll use a shield as well. Occasionally, he might decide to spawn, like, on you, in which case you're going to get hit. But other than that, no, that doesn't very often happen. You can just... Wow, he actually got behind me. If you just sit here, he'll die eventually. He takes eight hits, and then he dies. And, of course, because you're using Reflect, it doesn't matter what your strength is, because you're just reflecting his attacks. So, you know. That's the only way you can get him. Just basically, just whiz rope tactics, really. You know, and it's kind of a e an easy boss, once you know what you're doing. Uh, you know, to finish off the fourth palace, which is the Maze Palace. Uh, but of course, if you haven't got the um, Reflect spell, or you haven't got enough magic, then you are, um... You know, you you're kind of out of luck, really. You are sort of screwed, to um, put it bluntly. But yeah, so that, that's, uh, you know, it's well, reasonably easy, actually. Do we want to use it on that? Or wait for the life... I'm tempted to wait for the life because the next palace actually is... No, the next palace is very hard. I'll say that now. I think the next palace is probably one of the harder ones there is, folks. Um, and that's not too far from the end of the video, folks. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is I'm going to go back to... Um, I'm going to go back to uh, Naboro. Uh, which is the um, the first town we've met. We went to this continent. I'm going to off-screen go in there, folks. Um... On the way, I'll probably get enough to get my um, life upgrade. If I do, I'll tell you. Um, you'll probably see anyways. But um, yeah, so I'm going to meet you in the Boru. Um, so I will see you there in a short moment. And actually, I just remembered something. Uh, I keep forgetting this every blooming time. But of course, we got the magic boots um, in the palace. And of course, that means we can walk water. So that means we can just walk down here. I could always forget you could do this. I always walk through like a fool. Can't walk everywhere on water, but lads, you just go right back here. So now I'll see you in the ballroom. Well, here we are, folks. So um, here we are back in um, the ballroom. As you can see, I've not actually managed to get the um, next level um, yet, which is a bit surprised, but uh, never mind. So now from here. There's something I never showed you. If you walk like here, you can see how the sort of the path just sort of stops there. And you'll find now that you've got the boots, you can walk on water. Um, that's that back down there where we went, and got the points bag. And if you keep going along, yeah, you see there's a palace here. Except 
You don't want to go straight in there. There, you remember the guy that said um, that there's a heart hidden on like on the ocean? Yeah, there is a heart in this ocean. It's kind of hard to find actually. If you keep pressing up, and eventually you'll get somewhere where you can go up here. And what you can do is you can follow this along down the right. And if you make your way along the ocean, yep, yeah, that's water, not swampland. The third heart is there. That is really, really well hidden. That I, I applaud um, the developers for that. That is really well hidden. No, good on them for that. That is a really good place to hide it. And get down. There we go. But yeah, folks. So that then takes us here to the um, the third palace, which is the um, well, the ocean palace. Um, well, it's, it's in an ocean. Well, it's on an ocean. Um, folks, um, and this is a pretty, pretty tricky palace, this actually. Um, it is quite long, there's a few dead ends, um, you know, it requires a lot of back, back and forth action, action, uh, but, no, really, it's quite tricky. But there's good rewards in it as well, if you manage to survive, it's just, you know, you've got to survive first. Um, but anyways, folks, so, um, I'm gonna call that a video, um, and actually it's gonna end up being a session. Um, so, uh, next time, we're gonna be, uh, making our way through the, um, is this good? No, it doesn't even give you anything, never mind. Well, in the next video, folks, I'm, we're gonna be, um, no, we're gonna be heading, we're gonna be making our way, starting our way through the Ocean Palace, folks, um, and it is, it's in a whole entirety. Um, and then follow, and after that, then, uh, we're gonna be able to access, sort of, the, well, again, the, the new, the, a new part of the map, folks, that we've not been able to access before, um, where the difficulty spikes yet again, um, but it's all it's all um, you know it's it's all it's all good fun I suppose. So anyway, folks, so you know, thank you all very much for watching as always, um, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. So um, take care of yourselves.